Hello, my friends. Andrew at Microphonic Designs here at Irving High School today. Uh, we just finished up the audio installation, and it's very similar to a video I think I did last year, uh, but we have made some uh, really good improvements and uh, just some uh, you know, small tweaks that are going to make a difference uh, for the program here. The first thing is that they have a Titan mixer cart, and I took off the handles of the old Yamaha amplifier. So I got in there, took the handles off so that the front cover can fit on, and uh, I think that's that's going to be a great benefit for the group to keep their equipment protected, fully protected. We also added a few Shure SLX wireless receiver units. We have not hooked them into the console just yet, uh, but they are in there uh, available for use once they have their soloists finalized for the season. Uh, around the back of the car, let me get this opened up. Here we go. This is where we've made the most, uh, I think the, 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 be the best of the improvements here, is how we have the cables uh, routed through the cart. One of the things I really enjoy about the Titan uh, mixer carts is that they have a small cutout in the rear doors for cables to fit through. And so here, We've got all the cables, the two modular snakes and the four speak on cables coming out of the amps. Uh, we cleaned it up back here, got it looking really good. And so the plan that we have for them is that they'll, they'll be able to have the doors closed. Uh, we'll just leave it like that for now. Uh, they'll be able to have the doors closed. And on this side, they'll have a modular snake and their speak on cables for side one with some cable cuffs. And on this side, it'll be the same thing, a modular snake and their speak on cables for side two. And then everything just gets deployed out when the mixer cart reaches the 50. Over here on side two, the modular snake comes out. I've got marimbas two, three, and four uh, coming in uh, in my standard fashion to a junction point here. And the mod snake goes forward. And then we have the two vibes, uh, vibraphones three and four in the back coming forward with jumper cables. Uh, again, very similar design. In fact, it's the same design that we did last year with some improvements, of course. And pod one over here is marimba one coming this way, jumping back to synth two cart. Vibraphones one and two also jump over and I have their cables uh, kind of coming over and, and up into the synth cart here. And uh, this is still a little messy. We got the power cables going everywhere, but everything is plugged in and working. We're gonna use the Juno DS as a MIDI controller for main stage. We're gonna use the MIDI out to the MIDI in of their focus right interface. And then here we have the synth one cart, which is the main stage hub. We've got everything in this, this Jarvis frame where we've got the Mac mini, the focus right, everything kind of uh, in a hub here. And then as you can see, I used some of the holes that were already in the cart to have the audio cables come out and the power cable come out. And the Focusrite interface that they have has four outputs. I made sure to recommend that so that we have the signal from Synth 1 here and the signal from Synth 2 here. So we're using the one computer, uh, but in main stage, we're gonna program it so that it has two or, or, or rather two pairs of outputs. So four total, so that they have control over synth one and synth two up at the mixing console. And to circle back around to that, here on this modular snake, we attached a power cable that I sized to be the same length. And it all traces right back very cleanly to their mixer cart. Very proud of the setup. Again, it's the same concept that we've had in the past but these improvements with how we're running cables and, and doing you know the power cables and all that, I'm, uh, I'm very happy with, and I hope they will be too. All right, that's it for the Irving walkthrough. I'll see you guys in the next one.